Now, we have still seen the bodies that Jemilov actually piled up inside the pole, which they have all have been disappeared, and which Shiki is going to fight this guy, in which we are actually going to see how this fight is going to work, because Shiki is actually launched at Jemilov. In which he's going to use his mana attack. But however, we've seen Jibaloff using his size, which he actually calls it his Marla. I'm sorry, Marlena actually use actually came alive, and he actually saying that he's that she's getting hungry as she actually eats some of Shiki's hair. And we actually seen Shiggy's original haircut, as we saw, as we see that Molina actually eats everything, which is growing in size. And we actually seen this side actually killing, almost killing, but almost trying to eat everything, as we seen the eating a tower we actually can tell that we actually seen it falling down on it knowing the fact that this dude actually is crazy but we actually can tell that he's actually actually say you don't say no when Drake and Joe calls you and which he mean business as he actually left because he's actually logged out. You can actually do that. In which they actually heard about Dragon Joe only by name. So they actually going to find this dude very soon. As the town folks actually came to them asking, in which they actually asked, where is <coughs> Hermit? In which they actually found Hermit. As they seen her sitting on a iron hill, as they ask her about what they actually, what she actually doing there, as she asking who they are, in which they they actually wanted her to come back to Eden Zero, which they actually actually set a spark on her because. They actually was looking for her because they're going to f because they're going to bring her back to the ship along with Valkyrie, but Humara is, isn't there because she actually went off. But Hermit told them she's not actually going because she actually loved that place, so she decided to come there on her own. Which it probably won't actually do anything good for them because she actually hates humans because she won't actually trust them. Meanwhile, back at the Crystal City, we seen her, I mean, Homura actually going through the alleyway with this guy named Jesse, in which they actually realize that the undercover that she's been actually doing is actually playing out smoothly because she actually gains Shiggy trust. Now, I'm just actually wondering, did Homura become a traitor and betray his trust? Now, it's a good thing they found Hermit because they can actually bring her back to the ship. The only problem is she is not going because she actually loves this place, but she actually hates humans. So we're actually going to see what they're going to do in order to bring them back. But what actually got me and actually had me interested was the fact that her, I mean, Homura was actually talking to this Jess guy, and then she actually became a traitor. 
So we're actually going to see what this is all about in the next chapter next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Well, to the end, this is Emily Guy down here to say sign out. Laters! Oops, sorry.